My name is Mr. Morrow. I am going to show you how to create optimal profiles for analog pocket using the RetroTank 4K. The RetroTank 4K is an advanced scaler. It is highly advised to read the RetroTank 4K wiki so that you can familiarize yourself with all of the different settings that it has. It is um, not necessary for these profiles, however, because the profiles will be included with the SD card for the RetroTank 4K. But I am doing this tutorial to show how to use a few of the RetroTank 4K settings, including decimation for HDMI sources, um, prescaling for all other sources, uh, vertical prescaling for sources, the color correction menu, as well as some of the special effects and scan line effects that you can include. This tutorial is only going to be for Game Boy Advance authentic cartridges and the core, Game Boy Color authentic cartridges and the core, and Game Boy cartridges and the core. I will be releasing another video with different, with other handheld cores as well. I just wanted to start with Game Boy because that is the, those are the authentic cartridges that I am able to play. To start, I wanted to show you what playing a Game Boy game looks like on the analog pocket. This is currently not using the original settings. Now it is using the original settings. It is a 15, it is currently a scaled game, scaled to take up the full vertical size of the menu. Sorry, the full vertical size of the screen. However, it is not integer scale to the full size of the screen because of the way the pocket works. The pocket is currently filling the screen with a 1080p screen and then the RetroTank 4K is scaling that to 4K. And now while that is very close, you may be able to see, I'm not sure if it's visible on YouTube, but it is slightly soft, a little softer than it can be. So we are going to go ahead and make it a little sharper. But before we do that, I did want to let you know that using the RetroTank 4K optimal profiles, you will not be able to use the original Game Boy DMG, original Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Pocket Lite, or Pinball Neon Matrix filters for the uh, using optimal profiles. And that is because of the way that the Pocket draws these. I will go ahead and show you by uploading the Game Boy Color optimal profile in advance. And as you can see, first of all, with the original, um, with the original filter on the analog pocket, it is stretched out and crops the screen a little bit. But if you switch to the next one, it does not look correct. This is what the green Game Boy filter looks like. And if we go into the ABC, and the HDMI receiver setup by pressing the ABC button on the remote. We can look through the different pixels until we can find something, but as you can see, none of these are the correct color, and this is actually the original DMG Game Boy. The next one is going to be the Game Boy Pocket. This is a little lighter than it needs to be. And then let's look through these. As you can see, there's barely any change and it does not look correct. This is the Game Boy Light one. Also, it is a little lighter than it should be. And finally, this is the Neon Pinball Matrix. It also does not look correct compared to what it was before. And again, I just wanted to make you aware of that while we, uh, before we continue, because the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy, uh, sorry, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Will and Game Boy Advance will need for will need you to turn all of the filters off. But the one thing we are going to do is well, the first thing to do as we start is set the default profile so that we can take a look at what we are doing. Let's go ahead and quit Pokemon. And that was just to let you know that if you wanted the pockets filters, you can just go ahead plug the pocket into the, H the RetroTank 4K and it will um, and it will scale that to an integer scale of 14 times and keep the filters. However, if you want to have a little bit more control of your filters, we can go ahead and move forward with this tutorial.
First, I'm going to start a Game Boy Advance cartridge, Jet Set Radio. And to start, it is in the Game Boy Advance uh, filter. We're going to go ahead and activate the analog GBA filter. And you're going to notice that it actually takes up the full screen. Um, this would be nice, but as I mentioned before, this is not an integer scale from the analog pocket from the original resolution of a Game Boy Advance to 1080p and then to 4K. So what we want to do to start is press the analog button, go down to settings, pocket, systems, GBA, video, size, size, position, and then hit scale 6x. That 6 is going to be very important because we need to keep that in mind. This is a 6 time integer scale in both in both the vertical and horizontal axes. So now that we have something that is perfectly integer scaled, you can see that there is some window boxing because uh, the analog pocket does a six time scale, which the RetroTink 4K then scales to, to 4K, which will make it a 12 time scale, but we can fit a little bit more resolution on there. We're gonna go ahead and hit the ADC button on the remote of the RetroTink 4K. Which, which takes us to the HDMI receiver setup menu. The, you want to increase the input pixels to six because we are doing a six times scale in the horizontal. You want to press the scale button and go down to vertical prescale. Increase that to one sixth because again, we are doing a six times scale in the vertical. And as I mentioned, this gives us the perfect 12 times integer scale for what we are using. We, but we do, want to be able to fit a little bit more resolution out of that so go to scaling mode go left to auto fill integer which keeps it the same but what it does is it keeps it at an integer scale unless until it is able to scale any further the input crop we want to adjust the top bottom left and right trims until it hits the edges of our screen And that is going to give us a perfect 13 times scale of Game Boy Advance games. There is still some window boxing, but this is as sharp as it gets. And as I mentioned, this is a perfect 13 times scale of the 240 by 160 resolution of the Game Boy Advance. If you would like a little bit additional color correction, you can go ahead to the Retrotank main menu by hitting the menu button, going down to advanced settings, Go to the color correction menu and apply preset. These are going to be the same as the Game Boy interface and you can apply the Game Boy Advance preset, which makes the colors more authentic to what a Game Boy Advance looks like in the sunlight. You can also make it look like the Game Boy Advance SP in sunlight. And this is uh, as far as you may want to go for Game Boy Advance profiles on the RetroTank 4K, but we can go even further. Hit the SFX menu on the RetroTank 4K, which takes us to processing effects setup. Go down to function and hit the LCD BGR function. Uh, go left until you hit that, and this gives you an LCD uh, scan line effect with blue, green, red sub-pixel effects, which is authentic to the original Game Boy Advance. Get grind the radio. And that is as far as you need to go when it comes to playing an authentic cartridge on, for an authentic Game Boy Advance cartridge on the RetroTank 4K using the analog pocket. But let's go ahead and do the Game Boy Advance Core. So, I've loaded the default profile by hitting profile, then go to load default profile. And then in the analog menu, we're going to open the Game Boy Advance core. I'm gonna play Sonic Advance. And when it loads the core, you're going to see something similar to what you saw before. It will scale a 1080p picture to fit the screen. We do not want that because that is not an integer scale. So what we can do is press the home button, the analog button, go to core settings, display mode, mode settings, size, and then integer. And this gives us a perfect 6x scale.
of a Game Boy Advance game, but just like an uh, authentic Game Boy Advance cartridge, we can do a little bit more. So hit the ADC button on the, on the remote, increase input pixels to six, hit the scale button on the remote, increase vertical pixels to six, and as you can see, we have a perfect 12 times scale, but we can go further. So go to scaling mode and go switch that to autofill integer. Go up to input crops and adjust the top, bottom, left, and right trims until you hit the edges of the Game Boy Advance screen. And this gives you a perfectly centered 13 times scale of a Game Boy Advance game. Just like before, if you want to go even further, go into the color correction menu, hit the menu button, find color correction, find apply preset, and apply the Game Boy Advance preset that looks more like a Game Boy Advance in sunlight. Or if you would like, go and find the Game Boy Advance SP preset this is what a Game Boy Advance SP looks like. If you'd like, hit the, the SFX button to go into the processing effects setup and find LCD BGR, which gives you uh, a little bit more of an authentic look for what a Game Boy Advance would look like in sunlight. That is it for Game Boy Advance. Let's go ahead and load up a default profile and quit this core. I'm actually going to take out the Game Boy Advance game that is in here and load up a Game Boy Color game instead. And as we load that up, as you can see, it takes up the full vertical length of the screen, which it's supposed to for Game Boy Advance games, scaling to 4K, but this is not an integer scale to 4K. And as I mentioned, there is and Game Boy LCD filter and a Game Boy LCD Plus filter that does integer scale for as sharp as possible. If you want to use those, I suggest not using the optimal profile. But if you do want to make an op or make or use an optimal profile, here is what you need to do. Go to the original analog GBC filter on the analog pocket and then hit the analog button. Go down to settings. Hit Pocket, Systems, GBC, Video, Size, Position, and go down to 7x, and that will give you a perfect 7x scale of a Game Boy Color game in 1080p, scale to 4K, which gives you 14 times. However, as I mentioned, we can get, we can squeeze a little bit more resolution out of the scale. So. And we know that the scale is 7x, so let's hit the ADC button, which brings us to the HDMI receiver setup menu. Increase input pixels to 7, then hit the scale button on the remote, let's go down to vertical prescale, and increase that to 1 7th. And we are much closer to the original Game Boy Advance, I'm oh, sorry, Game Boy Color resolution. You want to hit go down to scaling mode, hit auto fill resolution, and this will get us, uh, this will allow us to integer scale, and then adjust the top, bottom, left, and right trims until you hit the borders of the Game Boy Color game. And as you can see, this gives us a perfect 15x scale of the original Game Boy Color screen. You can take this a little bit further, so let's hit the menu button until we find the until we find the advanced menu, go to the color correction, hit apply preset, go to Game Boy interface, and go down to Game Boy Color. This is what a Game Boy Color screen looks like in authentic sunlight. We can take it a little further, hit the Game Boy, sorry, hit the SFX button on the remote, go down to function go left until you hit LCD RGB, which is more authentic to what the Game Boy Color would use. So that takes care of the Game Boy Color authentic cartridge. Let's go ahead and take a look at
uh, using the core. So we are going to load up a default profile and then quit this cartridge. And what we are going to do is load up Open FPGA. We're going to go to Handheld and open Game Boy Color. Um, as I mentioned before, when you open this up, it fills up the entire vertical length of the screen, which you would think you would want um, scaling to 4K. However, it is not integer scaled, it is fractionally scaled. So we do need to make some adjustments. First thing you need to do is hit the analog button on the remote, go to core settings, display mode, mode settings, size, and then hit integer. This gives you a 7x scale, which is scaled up in 4K to 14x of the original Game Boy settings. So, and once we start the game, so that we can get a, a screen that is uh, that it has solid color on it. And now that we have that, just like before, we know that it is a seven times scale. So let's hit the ADC button on the remote, which takes us to the HDMI receiver setup menu and increase input pixels until it hits seven. Hit the scale button on the remote find vertical prescale and increase that to one seventh go down to vertical scaling mode change that to auto fill integer and then we are going to adjust the top bottom left and right scales until it hits the edges of the game boy screen And this gives us a perfect 15 times scale of a Game Boy Color screen, 160 by 144, up all the way up to 4K. We can adjust the colors by going to the color correction menu, going down to preset, hitting Game Boy interface, and going down to Game Boy Color. And this gives us a screen that is much more authentic to the Game Boy Color in sunlight. And as I mentioned, we can take this a little further by hitting the SFX menu, which brings us to processing effects setup, go down to function, and then find the LCD RGB scanline function. And this is uh, much more authentic to what a Game Boy Advance would look like in direct sunlight held up under a magnifying glass. So that's going to be it for Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and the original Game Boy on the, re on the analog pocket using the RetroTINK 4K on both authentic cartridges and the cores.